Fortnite has just released a ton of brand new items for us to unlock. Stuff from skins to back blings to pickaxes. And of course, we're going to be covering emotes as well. But before we get into that, since it's the weekend, if you guys are hoping for next Friday off of school so we can get a three-day weekend, leave a like on the video, but be fast. And also while you're at it, be sure to subscribe because over 80% of you are not subscribed and are missing out. But yes, guys, we're going to be covering so many awesome skins and unlockable items today before the end of season two leading into season three i'm even going to show you how to get the Huntmaster saber skin and more you know guys there's some really good things in life like relaxing on a weekend sitting by a nice campfire and chocolate that's right chocolate and that's where the sponsor of today's video midday squares comes in midday squares is the first functional chocolate bar and it is packed with quality ingredients great nutrition like it's packed with protein packed with fiber fully plant-based and is even gluten-free it also comes in three different flavors which are almond cream crunch, fudge yeah, and my personal favorite, peanut butter, which when I tasted it, I was like, oh yeah, this is pretty great. And especially guys, like I usually eat a midday snack, but I've wanted something on the healthier side and these fill that perfectly. So be sure to try these for yourself. I mean, they're chocolate. How could you not love them? All you got to do in order to get some of these is use my link down below in the description to check out their website. They're currently sold out online due to high demand, but you can use their store locator to find a location near you that has them in stock. So be sure to check it out, get some for your yourself and satisfy your hunger with some amazing chocolate. All right, guys, let's start off the video here with something fairly funny. Before we get into the stuff to do with the emotes and skins, because there's a lot to unlock here, I first want to go over a hilarious glitch that has to do with the collider, the brand new location on the map. But like, here we go. If we go into this siege cannon and then aim like straight upwards and then fire the siege cannon into it, we get launched across. Oh my goodness. Yo, what the? Did I just freeze my game? Bro, it's frozen. <laughs> oh no. Okay, hold up. Let's try this again. This time we're gonna go over to, would this siege cannon work? Yeah, possibly. Let's try it. All right, so launch. No, that did not work. <laughs> Let's try with this one right here. So get in the siege cannon, aim as far upwards as we can into the middle of it, and then it'll launch us across. Yo, <laughs> we go so fast. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, dude, we go so far. <laughs> Hold on though, wait, I got an idea. What if we turn on low gravity for this? Oh my gosh, that's gonna be crazy. All right, we've got the low gravity on. We're back at the cannon. We need to line this up like perfectly. I'm not sure where to even aim. Maybe like just here. Oh yeah, that was actually like insanely perfect. Yo, oh my gosh, we're going in like a straight line all the way across. Bro, we're gonna go all the way past the lighthouse. That was wild. All the way from the collider to the water over here. Okay, that was pretty great. All right, one last test here before we move on. I want to see what happens if we launch into this area and go a different direction. <laughs> Yo, we're going flying. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is honestly so much fun, bro. I love this glitch. Oh yeah, guys. And before we get into the next thing to do with skins, the skin challenge on last video was Star-Lord. So here's a ton of people that got that right. And this time Around. let's go with this skin here so comment down below if you know the name of it and i'll leave hearts on a ton of the ones that get that right now next up guys before we hop into the emo and also the other unlockable skins we can get i want to show you how to get another skin here which is pretty interesting and that is Huntmaster saber this skin was leaked a while ago to actually be releasing soon since the files are actually in game but we're going to be getting it early here so in order to do this as you can see i equipped mystique but there's a trick we need to do in order to actually get it working also, we, uh, we still have zero gravity on. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, basically, we first need to eliminate any IO guard like this dude right here. Sorry, man, you're the closest one to me. Fully eliminate him, and that will allow us to turn into the IO guard skin. Or at least it should. Okay, nope. <laughs> but that's actually good, because we need to eliminate one AI first, and then go and find Huntmaster Saber. Let's see here. Where are you? Right around here. There he is. All right, so we got to quickly eliminate him before he eliminates us. Oh, Oh my gosh, I forgot he has that like crazy attack. No scope, come on. Dang it, that was actually really close. All right, this is a good spot. So again, we just got to eliminate Huntmaster. 
or have him eliminate us. Whoa there, buddy. Getting a little too close. And there we go. We got him. All right. So now that we've eliminated him, we should be able to use the shapeshifter emote to turn into the skin. Let's go. Yes, it worked. I don't know why eliminating an IO guard first allows this to actually work, but it does. So now we have the Huntmaster Saber skin. And this is actually like a super cool skin. Oh my gosh. Yo, I cannot wait for this one to actually release, but we have it early. But like, check this out right here. We can fully do emo with the Huntmaster Saber skin. Look, he's mad after uh, losing in Fortnite. <laughs> what about eating some popcorn just straight up through the mask? Or even some pizza, let's go. But yeah, all right, this skin is definitely pretty awesome. But keeping it going here with one of the first things I wanna talk about in today's video, that is a brand new free outfit. That is right, guys, a skin that we can completely just unlock. Also, by the way, can we take a second to talk about this brand new background? Obviously, it's hinting a ton towards the brand new event, but yeah, there is a lot going on back there. Maybe we'll talk about it more in a separate video, but yeah, let's get into it with the brand new skin. Basically, I looked over over here and you can see up at the top free outfit and then if we look at what it's offering the volcanic assassin pack claim the volcanic assassin pack for free in the item shop complete quests in order to unlock the tectonic complex outfit and more so then if we go back here and then go into the item shop may have to scroll down a little bit but then we can find it right here the volcanic assassin quest pack and check that out the price is literally 0.00 that's crazy and then if we inspect the items here it's uh, a bit glitched. So yeah, let's go back here and just go ahead and purchase it. Let's go. Yo, and there we have it. The Volcanic Assassin Pack with just a big white block. For some reason, a bunch of the graphics for this are completely glitched out. But yes, we can complete quests in order to unlock stuff. Let's check out what this is. But like hopping into a match here, we have to complete some sort of secret challenges in order to actually unlock these items fully, which is a bit confusing. But check this out right here. We're first going to go over to well, I'm hoping we can go over into the forest right here. Wait, I think I see some. Yes, we need some fireflies. Check this out. We're going to collect a bunch of these fireflies just like this. Let's go. We got two of them. But like, for example here, if we just throw one of these right into the middle of this forest, it should start to complete part of the challenge by lighting all of these trees around it. Let's go. I don't know why the challenge isn't popping up, but I think it should. Yeah, wait, what? Right here, ignite structure. Do those not count as structures? What does it mean? Does it mean like builds like this? Let's see here. I'm throwing down the fireflies. There we go. Okay, so it does have to be builds. It's not trees, it's builds. That makes more sense. All right, let's try this again. This time I made this really random huge box that's made out of a ton of structures. So I'm hoping it lights a ton of them. Oh my gosh, yes. All right, it's working super well. This might be the final one. Let's go, come on. 91, what? We're so close. Oh, no, wait, there we go, 100. <laughs> we got one of the first items, the back bling, yo. So if we return to the lobby here, yes, fiery jam. And it also shows the skin here, though we haven't unlocked the skin quite yet. I'll equip that. Now, after that, guys, let's start to talk about emotes and stuff because first of all, we just got a brand new emote or we're going to get a brand new emote by the time you're watching this video, which is for Obi-Wan Kenobi. We were waiting for this skin to release ever since they put out that trailer and finally we're getting it and he has a special emo. It is this one right here called Obi-Wan's Message. It's a very simple one to be honest. All it does is put up a hologram and say may the force be with you but it's still pretty cool. Now what's interesting about this is that I thought it may be able to be unlocked through the tournament that's literally going on like right now as I'm recording this. The Obi-Wan Kenobi Cup where a bunch of people are being awarded the Obi-Wan Kenobi skin as well as the back bling. Now I looked through to see if they would maybe get the emote as well but so far there hasn't been any confirmation of that i still think they should be awarded like the entire set along with the emote i mean come on wouldn't that just be awesome but either way there's still a bunch of time for them to add even more to that and speaking of which there's also a bunch of emotes still in the files that fortnite could add as items we can unlock for the event at the end of this season like for example what about the storm salutations emote one that has been in the files for like years could it finally release 
is one that we'll be able to use during the end of the season event. Similarly, there's also sad claps, which would be perfect. Like imagine mecha team leader fighting and you're just doing the sad claps emote. That would be incredible. So either way, there is still a lot of emotes within the files that could release super soon. Especially since we've seen all of the PSN items being released, I'm expecting a brand new emote to be just around the corner. And what about the sign emotes? The ones that usually release around the time of an event that you can gift to each other. Are they going to return, especially if the Devourer returns during this event as well? However, those were 100 V-Bucks at the time, even though I still think they should just award them to players because they're so simple, but we could see something like that for the event too. But then guys, we've got another challenge here. Oh geez. No, no, no. What? I couldn't build while I was using that. But we do have another challenge here that I want to show you. Yo, what is going on here? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, there we go. We got a little bit of damage. We need to deal 2,100 damage in order to unlock a new item. So this is essentially just got to be a montage of all these different eliminations. Like, here we go. How about our first elimination ride here? What's up, Dr. Sloan? Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, there's one. Okay, now Dr. Sloan, where are you? Oh my gosh. Oh, but it's not enough now, is it? Oh yeah, ready for this flick, buddy? Yo, ready for this snipe? Oh no, why'd you gotta move? No! Yes, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Bro, we're so close, come on. Yes, there's one elimination. Wait, does that not count? I don't know how much damage I did. Bro, that was like 20 damage. I can't even tell what's going on here. Yo! Yes, there we go. That was enough. Show me the challenge. Yes, it's complete. All right, we can back out finally. And we unlocked the brand new pickaxe, the Sulfuric Street Shine. Let's go. Finally, after all of that. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to subscribe as well as turn on notifications for more fun videos like this coming up super soon. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos on the screen right now, such as going over the Season 3 Battle Pass. That's a great one. But again, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.